May it please the court. Tonight we're all here to witness the wrongdoings of the, of the LSPD uh, SWAT and illegal search of my client's property and the violation of his uh, his Fourth Amendment's rights given to him by the Constitution. He clearly has he uh, it was clearly violated with uh, total disregard. And tonight we will prove these allegations to be true. December 14th was the day in question. My client, Walter Black, and acquaintances was were leisurely conversating on the, on their neighborhood block, Forum Drive, which in fact is a known crim block where at times people randomly come and rob the people, rob and kill the people who in fact live there. While talking, him and him and two others went into his dwelling, the Deli, the Deli, to talk privately. While I received, uh, he received word that the police were outside, armed, on rooftops, and about to come in. One, uh, one of the one of the others went outside to take a look and confirm this to be true. This confused my client because he was unsure of the reason, so he proceeded outside with the last person that entered with him, with his hands up. When he exited, he was he was met by LSPD SWAT notifying him they were going into his private dwelling without warrant, claiming they didn't need one. The reason behind behind them being so confident in so confident in in this is them claiming to see someone waving a class two at them and began to flee but there was no hot pursuit i understand if this did happen lspd swat start would would have started in hot pursuit then exigent circumstances is there but there is also a such thing as a as exigent exigent circumstances forced such as us versus london such as creeping in unmarked cars accessing ladders rooftops and not making yourself known as an officer these are all examples of forced exigent circumstances which lspd did all of these things as well as violating my client's fourth amendment by illegally entering his property without warrant your honor today we are seeking your approval for the mandatory amount of six hundred thousand dollars for the violation of my client's fourth amendment Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Blacklow. All right, Mr. Johnson, please make your opening remarks. Speak on shout. Can you can you speak on shout, please? I am very sorry. There we go. Should I restart? Yeah, we cannot hear you. I heard what you said. That's but, fine. Uh, I'll restart because I was whispering on it. I didn't hear anything yet. Okay, Your Honor, opposing counsel, may it please the court. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Unfortunately, once again, the law, law enforcement of Los Santos is required to respond to another frivolous lawsuit. However, instead of moaning and groaning, I'm going to show you how open and shut this case really is. First, we will show you two body cam footage recorded by Mr. Richard Bennett, the chief of police and a SWAT team leader. In this foot, in this footage, you can clearly see two individuals wearing blue clothing run into an alleyway pointing a class two and class three firearm at the officers who are attempting a stakeout. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. It all started with an individual named Sam West. At the time, Mr. West had, had an arrest warrant through the MDT. At this point, Mr. West had been on the, on the run for some time, and offers, officers knew pretty close to where Mr. West could be as, he has been, as he has been seen multiple times on Forum Drive. 
Officers then conducted a stakeout to apprehend Mr. West. When they were swiftly met with two individuals running into the alleyway, they were standing and pointing a class two and class three firearm directly at officers who had not been holding any weaponry at all. Officers then got out their rifle and began to control the now hostile scene. They then saw individuals run in all directions and even run into nearby buildings. Due to these individuals running away from a lawful order, they initiated one of the few exceptions that will be listed here today, the hot pursuit exception. This exception is when an officer is permitted to enter a premises without a warrant when chasing somebody, when chasing someone who they have a suspicion of committing a crime. Disobeying a lawful order is a definite crime, even though as we see as we see this as what may be a minute crime or misdemeanor, the Supreme Court specifically outlines the fact in this case, Lang v. California, when Justice Callaghan's majority opinion describes the fact that the police have the right to enter a home with the hot pursuit exception, no matter the crime that had occurred. So no matter the severity. Number two, officers have another exception at this disposal. This is known as a pr protective sweep. As seen in the case Maryland v. Bluey, we see once again the Supreme Court side with the police, allowing them to enter buildings, not searching for ever anything illegal, but to make sure that there were no more violent threats that occur, that can occur. Seeing the police only quickly and, and swiftly search the building and left with nothing being seized, we see this also being the case. Why, why would officers want to enter these buildings? Well, imagine yourself getting class threes pointed at you by multiple individuals in a high crime area with what we believe to be a person with an active warrant to be with a person we believe to have an active warrant in the area. Officers making sure that these buildings were, sorry, excuse me, officers making sure that these buildings were where they have clearly seen people run into following the police presence. They, in turn, they search the building to make sure that they're not harboring Mr. West or any of the individuals that threatened the life of these officers. Once that confirmation was made, officers swiftly left the interior of the building, swiftly left the interiors of the building. Your Honor, today we are all here to see this case pan out, but there are a few minor discrepancies that we have found with this case. First, in the video that will be played here today, an officer of an officer claiming we would not search the we were not searching the building. Well, my first inkling is to say that the officer was simply misunderstanding the situation. It also could be the fact that we uh, that we have said that we have said previously we were looking for an active criminal and other individuals who have pointed firearms at officers. And just in case they had any contacts with the individual we were look we were looking for, we did not want to spook we would not want to spook them into a violent state. As seen in the in the opening statement of the plaintiff, we also see the relevance to the case U.S. v. London, where the officer who had approached, where in that case, an officer who had approached the the porch, not identifying them as a police officer, heard ruffling and scuffling in the dead of night. This is in no way, shape, or form relevant to this case, as officers had clearly seen a crime being occurred before anything happened of the searches of the building. It, that, that's also another exception with the plain view, uh, with the plain view clause of the, uh, the plain view clause of the exceptions. To wrap it up, Your Honor, we we would like to correct this record that this event was quote a raid. In no way, shape, or form was this a raid. It was a sweep. This was not a search. No, 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 no. This was an officer securing a scene with violent criminals. That's all. Thank you. All right, thank you, thank you, John. Now, today we can move on to the evidence side of the trial. I know we all have access to the documents that have presented today in the court. We could go ahead and Mr. Black Lope come up here and present your evidence. Exhibit A would be uh, the video of the officer stating that they were not searching the property. They were not violating any rights. If your officers aren't informed of what's going on at this certain situation, if everyone's not on the same page, then how could that be a, a, a successful and proper sweep? 
Exhibit B. Hang on. Uh, one second. Your Honor, can I respond to Exhibit A? Uh, you can't respond during the opening statement. But... Will I get a? Well, this what? I mean, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, you may respond. What was your? I'd just like to respond to Exhibit A. Uh, it the officers being notified of this sweep of the building who actually didn't conduct the sweep. He was just securing the perimeter at that time, so it doesn't seem like he would need to know exactly what was going but on. But he was he was on scene with the active with the active vest on. Oh, he knew the situation. Out. Exactly. He knew the situation, but he. So if your officers, he if your officers, if all officers are on are on scene for a said sweep, supposedly. And all officers should be aware of the situation of what's Honor, going once on. Once again, this is just, I'm just assuming that either there's one of two instances the officer either didn't know or the officer was purposely neglecting making that video. Ignorance and negligence slightly. is no excuse, Your Honor. It's no Your excuse. Honor, it's not a, it's not illegal for the, for the officers to be protecting themselves in case he has contact with any of the criminals that were mentioned. Uh, the officer in that video it seems quite irrelevant that his statement would be pre presented, seeing that we actually don't know the officer's state of mind at the time, nor do we know the state of mind of the so individual. If, that video if you don't know the officer's state of mind, then why would he be on scene or active as an officer at I'm the time? I'm unaware of his state of mind, seeing that I am the I am the attorney. However, I'm assuming since he's on the scene, he knows exactly who Sam West is. Okay, that so you should also you should also so you should also be. assume that he should know exactly what he's there for. Then correct. Okay, if I'm assuming that he knows what he's there for, then he also is not obligated to tell any member of the public why SWAT is on that block. But he's he also doesn't have to. Okay, stay. we're not going to debate this right here. I'm going to overrule the objection. Continue with it's your. It's not an objection. Present. It was a response. Yeah, it was, yeah, but you can over. Like, he can over. You can. What? Yeah, either way. What? Either way, I'm gonna continue with. We're gonna B. continue. Uh, exhibit B is the body cam of my client Walter Black of him uh leaving his property, going outside and conversing with the officers with his hands up, and whilst going outside, you do see the officers are pointing weapons at him and telling him to move, or they're gonna take him to jail for someone that they suspect to be inside that isn't. And the officers tell them to take it to court. All right. So that was exhibit B. Yes, sir. Exhibit C was a video that Mr. Johnson actually used as evidence. Uh, it's just the officers in the alley initially uh, with the guns being pointed at them. If you notice, they as soon as they the officers didn't as the officers didn't make themselves known. They were trying to be as sneaky as possible. And as soon as the assailants or whoever they were that pointed the weapons at the officers uh, knew it was an officer, not because they said they were an officer, but because they just seen their vest or seen like some seen their badge or something they ran away and put their guns away and put Your their Honor, hands up can i respond to this as well what do you have to say it it honestly frankly does not matter whether they were pointing a weapon at an officer or a civilian it still makes it a crime that that's just pointing that, but it's also way. i'm, I'm that, pointing on, out second. but no, no, wait no, no, look hold me. on i'm hold pointing on, out I, no, no 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 hold on go ahead go ahead, go ahead sir. that alleyway that alleyway being a public space. Those that's not a public are, space. That that, is, that that that's that not a public space. Excuse sir. me, Mr. Loke. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying sir. to make my point. I, I listen. Okay, I, that ahead. alleyway being a public space it does not. not get does not grant any individual to point a class two and class three firearm at officers or a member of the public. Sir, everyone. I mean, every. There it doesn't are matter if officers it, at least four. May I speak? May I speak? May I speak? May I speak? Yes, you, you will have a time at some point when you when you get your when you Excuse when you me. have your evidence. I'm saying when you have your evidence, you can have your listen. If you if you can just listen for a second, Mr. Johnson. The uh, entire apartment buildings, the uh, garages that the police were on. It's all private property. It's all owned by members of that block. Everything on that block is owned by members of the block. 
Okay, so is those so those members are the owners of that building? The owners. Yes, the they own it. Reference so to the those video, individuals right? who are brandishing a no. class two and class three so firearm own that. Your building. honor, your honor, the the whole point of me showing the video in the first place was to show force exigent circumstances. They were trying to be sneaky, sneaking on roofs, not making themselves known as officers. May I continue with my evidence, please? You may. Continue, please. In the same video, or in the, is it the same? Hang on one second. I just want to make sure it's the same or the or, or it's a different. I just want to be certain. Hang on one second. No, all right. So in the second and uh, exhibit, an exhibit D, they show, it shows uh, the officer with uh, AR-15 pointing at uh, people on the block, showing, uh, telling them to put their hands up basically. Uh, and if you notice, you notice them noticing that he's an officer and them all putting their hands up. If they're all criminals and they all want to kill cops and all of these things that Mr. Johnson has stated, then it would have definitely ended in a shootout, but it didn't. And no one was caught. Exhibit E. Can I just knock out the exhibits real quick, Mr. Johnson? No, nah, I'm not. Nah, these are, this is, I'm saying, I'm trying to keep going. Let me just get through these witness statements. There's just three more, Mr. Johnson. I promise you will have the floor. Exhibit E is Walter Black's statement of what happened on that uh, day. Exhibit F. Is Chris B. Coolman's and Exhibit G is Bob Bo Bob Ozo's. All three were on the block and present at the time of the incident. Was that the last of the exhibits, Exhibit G? Yeah, that's, yeah, Exhibit G is my last exhibit. Mr. Johnson can ha can have the floor. He really wants it. Thank you, Mr. Lowe. I very much do want it. Thank you. All right. All right. It is your turn now, Mickey Johnson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, just a couple, uh, just a couple things. All right. So I got, a, I got exhibit, I got a couple exhibits here that I just want to run through before we get to uh, witnesses. Um. So exhibit A and B are both body cam footage uh, from Mr. Richard Bennett, who's in the courtroom today. Um, it shows the circumstance unfolding. Uh, as you can see in the exhibit, I believe it's exhibit A, is when the situation actually began. Officers had just arrived on scene. Um, after arriving on scene, or they were attempting a stakeout. They were attempting to get on, side, on top of a roof. Individuals then pulled up in the alley with illegal firearms, uh, directly threatening the officers by pointing them. And then the officers then in turn pulled their weapons out, addressed the threat. Uh, then people began to scatter. That's what you can see in Exhibit B and Exhibit A. You can see people then um, running away. Um, may I, may on, I, on, may I interject? I, may on, I interject? Hang on. Second, you what do you have to say? I don't know, but I'm not like even done talking. I'm not talking about Just the exhibit. Just real quick. Can I, can I, talk, can I finish I my little every... sentence? Okay, go ahead. Go okay. Ahead. Exhibit, so ex in Exhibit A and B, we see we – see individuals running off in separate directions after the the officer had said to put your hands up and to stop that's where we see oh, that's where we see the crimes being occurred by all the individuals they all flee in separate directions including the individuals who pointed the firearms at the officers they fled with all the other other people thus creating the scene where everybody is then where a lot of the individuals on the street except for i believe mr coolman Ended up staying in his position right there behind the car, but he was never charged. He was never done anything with, so that's why. But everybody else began to flee, which caused officers to then have to go search for them in the immediate vicinity. Mr. Loke? 
you had something to your say. honor your honor i just wanted to say that prior to police pulling up the that entire neighborhood was full is full of people and they were all individually doing different things who's to say that they were still in doing individual things or not and didn't even see the officers creeping up without notice on the side with rifles so at that point your honor i'd like to respond to that at that point uh if you're uh, if you're misunderstanding the situation you don't know what's going on you put your hands up you comply and then the police will then swiftly release you knowing that you have no wrongdoing uh, other individuals who caused the scene to occur such as in that such manner caused that violent circumstance which caused officers to present and as themselves you can with see in the video themselves everyone basically stood there and they did not stand up. there, Your Honor. They all put their hands up and then be began to jump fences and run away swiftly. Other individuals ducked into buildings, and uh, the only the only individual that I actually seen in that video that stood still was Mr. Crispy Coleman standing right there. So I give him props. But everybody else ran in every separate direction that they could, and it even went into inside, inside of buildings, disobeying that lawful Have order given seen, by Mr. Mr. Did you not see the body cam of my client? Did you, Which one you of take these a look exhibits? at it? Because when he exited the building, you can clearly see way more than just him and Mr. Kuhlman standing outside conversing with the officer. Your Honor, I'll address this in my following exhibits. There's a couple of photos that we can uh, we can clearly see some things if you if you'd like. Can we yes, move on to this let's, separate let's continue. exhibit? Okay. Yeah, you can keep going, bro. Exhibit C, you see the two individuals. Uh, the one's pulling his, his uh, heavy pistol out of his waistband, and the other one has an Uzi pointed right directly at uh, at Chief Bennett. Uh, exhibit D. I ain't going. Can I, can, I, can I speak on that exhibit, please? As soon as, if you look at the video, as soon as you notice that those people notice that they're officers, even without the officers stating that they're officers, they run away, put their guns up, and put their hands up. A crime still occurred. It doesn't. It doesn't change the circumstance whether they whether they begin to run away or whether they begin to keep pointing the firearm. That crime still occurred. That crime is uh, is uh, they have already created an active threat for the officers, which caused the officers to be forced to respond. They then continued to flee. They did not give themselves up to the police after realizing they were police. They then fled the scene and and caused a a larger a larger area of hostility than it should have been. Uh, can we, let's go a, a couple seconds later, we'll see exhibit D and E show up. Uh, D, exhibit E is just a, a magnified version. That way you can see the firearm a little bit clearly in his hand. So that's a, that is, that is a heavy pistol in his, uh, I believe it's his right hand as he's running uh, towards the camera. Um, he's, uh, he's got a, a heavy pistol in his right hand. You also see on exhibit D that Officer Bennett was issuing lawful orders as well as pointing his firearm at the individual and he ceased to, to keep running exhibit f you see uh that's where you see some individuals duck into buildings uh in the video you clearly see the individuals run halfway into the street notice the officers with the guns giving the orders then returned and turned around and ran right into the building uh causing uh, causing uh, that hot pursuit clause to be in effect as well no one uh never ran in a building that building never that, that video never stated or never showed anyone running into the building from that scene if would you, you like to would you like to watch the, the video again your honor I, i've seen it you can clearly see in the video Which exhibit is the of the body cam the uh, i believe picture. it's exhibit b that will show those two individuals running back into that building and you can oh, clearly no. see which brief was that yours or that's mine something? that's going to be under mine it's going to be under exhibit b it's going to be that second video it's a, a the second video is more towards when they uh, get in contact with the group of people. and if you so, and if you and if you watch the video you can clearly see that it's a man with dreads and tattoos and if you look at the 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 uh video of the two gentlemen running neither one of them have dreads or tattoos so what God, i'm seeing right now which, a, which, still, which yeah, exhibit no was one it? was disobeying exhibit, how can i hear oh, you if you're uh, across who, the street what do you mean that was you no i'm, I'm saying how can i hear you if you are across the street they're That's within shouting distance 
If I'm shouting at you at, from the sidewalk to the middle of the road, you can hear me. To the middle of the road, but across the street, you'll be able to hear me. I well, that individual okay, that ran into the, the middle of the road. Hold on, I'm trying to and find possibly. the video that we're describing right now. And you said it's in your exhibit. I'm it, only it seeing be screenshots. B. You don't see that? I posted a new. Ex what do you mean? Exhibit the B. New exhibit? It's a it's a video. It literally says video two. Are you looking at the wrong exhibits? I don't know. Um, I might be. <laughs> okay, can you? I posted. Okay, I a see couple, it. B, I posted yeah. a new exhibit list. The I around eight o'clock. Give me one second while I watch this video. That's fine. You say what? I'm gonna step over here and talk with the with these guys real quick. Okay, I've watched it. Perfect. Have you, do you see those two individuals, the one individual run to the middle of the road, then immediately turn around and run into that building? The exhibit B, from what I've seen, an officer had pointed a weapon to individuals to the left, quite a few individuals, and said, put your hands up now. And he panned over to the right with his weapon, and I seen two individuals standing by a building before the video briefly closed. Okay. Well, one of the two videos shows the 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 one of those the the man in red running to the middle of the road, hearing the lawful order, and then t returning back to the building where they both ran inside. Okay, so that would be in the other one. Let me see. It might be in the other one. I'll I'll go take a look. But I know one of them shows the individual running halfway across the road and then running backwards. I can look the... at it right here. Just one yeah. second. Let me look at video one. Yeah, it's one of the two. I know for a fact it's in one of the two. Okay, I watched the video. All right, perfect. Did, did you see what I'm talking about? So what I seen is the officer come around the corner. He seen an individual running in circles in the road. He said, drop the gun. And as he's doing that, I can see the individual in the middle of the road with the red shirt. And he's running towards the door, towards the building that we are talking about. And then he mm -hmm. proceeds to the next clip. I'm yeah, and then it proceeds to them running inside the building. Yep, that's exactly what we're talking. We're talking about the lawful order for everybody to seize uh, the weapon being pointed, and then uh, the individual. Well, what I want to know is how how do you know that they heard them across the streets? If you're yelling, Mr. Loke, uh, I, I, I'm assuming an officer know? shouting at the top of his lungs uh, to the point of the middle of the road, a very wide open road. Uh, there's not really barriers in between them. I'm assuming that the officer can be heard, especially if he's projecting his voice as one would when they're giving a lawful order to an individual. All right. He's not saying it quietly. All right. Let's go Mr. to... Johnson. Where are we at now? We're at the bit. We've done the two video exhibits, A and B. Now you we have the screenshots. We, okay, uh, so I then I think the last one we have to on. go through is exhibit H, which is the picture of... So you see Mr. Kuhlman uh, standing right there, and then you see what's funny is you see an individual jumping a fence, and you see another individual running away with his hands up. So apparently they all had their hands up, but none of them stayed still. Mm. So it, maybe uh, Mr. Loke's statement's correct, but none of them none of them stayed still. They all disobeyed the lawful order and ran in separate directions. And which lawful order are you uh, exactly describing? For everybody oh. to put their hands up and stop moving. To put the hands up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. 
Is there any other evidence besides witness testimony that you would like to present right now? No, the exhibits and the witness testimony is what I got, as well as the videos, but the videos have already been reviewed. All right. If you are ready, we can move on to the witnesses. Give me one second. I get a little bit of clutter in front of me right now. All righty. Mr. Black Loke, if you could go ahead and call to the uh, call to the stand your first witness. Uh, my first witness would be Crispy Coolman. Crispy, if you could go ahead and sit to this right there on the corner for me. Right here, this one. Yes. Perfect. Can you swear here today that everything you are going to say is and will always be the truth? So help you, Envy? Yes, yes, I do. Alrighty. Mr. Blacklock, you may proceed you with your question. Now I am. Better? Yeah. Th thank you. No problem. Mr. All right. Coleman, I, I would just like you to describe the events of the Sensor 14th, the day of the uh, illegal search. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So that day, I was also on Forum Drive. I was hanging out with a friend of mine, um, Bob. Bob Ozo, who's also on the block, which I'll get to later. There was something said about him that I would like to say. Anyways, we were just hanging out another day, just chilling. This is, might I add, the day after um, the incident happened with, uh, with Walt. So I'm already a little bit on edge as we're here. But we're just playing dice, friendly game of dice, just all of us. And um, I hear, as I'm playing, this is towards our last game. I hear one of the guys say, um, oh, there's uh, somebody with a, with a assault rifle coming down the street. And I, I believe they said it was a police officer. I can't remember right now. But they, they, they mentioned somebody was coming down the street with an assault rifle pulled. So I look and I see him in the middle of the street. He's at a distance. I don't hear anything. I hear nothing at this point. I just see him crouched with his gun pointed at all of us. Just obviously playing dice you like you can see that we're here sitting here playing dice and he's coming with his gun pulled and as he gets closer i hear him say it's uh, he's a police officer and to put our hands up but uh, i meet bob when he says that does go as he says he goes over the fence but he comes right back so that i don't know what he's trying to get at at that because he comes right back and puts his hands up and and surrenders because we drive off together after that and um the cops saying put your hands up put your hands up and i'm asking him why what is the reason that we need to put our hands up and he he does not tell me anything and like i said in the beginning i didn't hear him and i didn't see that he was a police officer i was as he was coming up on the street at the time so anything could happen no one heard him i didn't hear him no one heard him because I was the closest to him at the time. I was right behind my car. And, um, yeah, so he comes up and um, he, he handcuffs everybody that, that, that's there. Me, Bob, is all I see. We get handcuffed and they take our IDs and they let us go and we drive away. And uh, we come back a little while later and they're still on the, they're still on the street. And uh, I go up to one of the officers because I get a phone call prior to that from uh, somebody there. They were saying that, hey, they're... Because when you look up my phone number in the services, you see that I'm a lawyer. So people mistake me for a lawyer a lot. And they call me and they start talking. And um, he calls me and he says... Your Honor, can I object? What are you objecting to? A witness's answer? statement? I'm just saying what I saw. Witness statement. It's a narrative answer. Well, you didn't this ask is... Him any of this, uh, you didn't a question to lead any of this. This is my statement. This is everything that I saw at the time that okay. happened. Can I'm you, almost yeah, done. Can you, just yeah, keep it yeah, short, just, but yeah, please don't interrupt him while yeah. he's... Um... I'm, I'm almost done. This is the last bit right here. Um, so I, I, I go back to the block with Bob. Me and him are together, and we go up, and there's an officer there. And I walk up to him because I get the phone call. They're saying they're trying to they're trying to a house without a warrant. And I'm not a I'm not a lawyer, but I do walk up to the officer and I say, hey, I hear that you, you're trying to walk up to the house without a warrant. You guys are not supposed to do that. I think you know that. And he says, yes, no, we're not walking into any house without a warrant. We're just talking to the people out here, and that's it. And I say, okay, and then I walk away. And then that's that's the the, the end of what 
what happened with me. Okay. Uh, I just got uh one more question. So, mm -hmm. can you remember around how many people actually the police had in like handcuffs or were talking to out there? Once they you? came, at, when they came up to us at first, I believe literally everyone that was there playing dice, we all stayed. I don't, I don't remember anyone. Only person I remember jumping was Bob, but he came right back. Like I said, immediately he jumped right back over the fence. It was just okay. like, cause we didn't know it was PD, so he just okay. jumped, and but he came back. So from what I remember, everybody stayed, I believe. Okay. Well, I have nothing further, Yana. You done with your direct examination? Yeah. All right. You can step down. Mickey Johnson, please step up and cross-examine the witness. How's it going, Mr. Coolman? What's I know up, Mickey? Uh, My dog. I know it's day number two, this, uh, so I'm going to try and get you through it. I love with, it. Uh, I'm here. With just minimal sca scrapes and bruises. Ah, no, I love it. All righty, all righty. So you were, you were present at the day of this, uh, of this sweep, correct? Yes, sir. Okay, and you were on the block? Yes, sir. Uh, just doing, doing what you do, rolling just, dice, doing whatever? Just hanging I, out, innocent, yeah. yeah. So whilst doing that, you seen you seen an individual who who looked and acted as if he's a police officer pointing a rifle down the road. Uh, did you see Did you see the individual he was chasing as well? Uh, from what I saw, the moment I, I just saw the officer, I didn't. I saw him coming from the left to our side of the street. I didn't see him chasing anybody though. No, you didn't see him chasing a single person down the road. I did not see honestly. Okay. No. And then going towards your other statement, uh, your statement that said you, none of the individuals with you ran away. Mm -hmm. uh, you, so when you looked around after after the officer was pointing the weapon at you, you've seen everybody still standing there. Nobody ran over. Nobody jumped fences. Nobody left the scene at all. Well, um, actually, um, when I was there, I was looking at the officer most of the time. So the only person that was closest to me in my vision was Bob. And I did see him jump the fence, but he, like I said, he came right back. So you're telling fence. me no? The only part you didn't you didn't see I anybody didn't, else I didn't, leave the scene. I didn't look Mr. behind Bob me. Jump the fence and then swiftly return back to the position to talk and cooperate with officers. I, I didn't yes. look behind me, but Bob jumped the fence and he. Is I Bob, mean, I wouldn't say right, swiftly, we go, but he did uh, come back. Yes, and I wouldn't you have say. have my exhibit on. list in front of you by chance, Mr. Cool. Bob um, also has a witness. I thing. don't. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna show him. Uh, can you uh, can you get that in front of you for me? I can't. Quick? Where? You're gonna have to let me know how to how to get to the list. That's fine. It should be under the civil the civil case. Uh, underneath the criminal underneath the uh, the okay. court discordia. I don't know if he has. Two seconds. Does I do. Act? I do. I'll get it. Give me two seconds. Okay, yeah, I have them in front of me now. Which, what exhibit are you, are you wanting me to look at? Exhibit H, H. as in Henry. Okay, two seconds here, let me get that out. Okay, yes, I'm looking at H. Okay, in this, I mean, in this photo, you're clearly looking a different way, but you okay. shuffle your feet, you kind of reposition, look towards the officer a little bit later on, yeah? Uh-huh, I, I see okay. what you're And you're then you see... You see, Mr. So in in that blue jacket, is that Mr. Bob Ozo, who you're referring to? No, that's that's or not Bob that? Ozo, but I I actually didn't see that, and I don't quite know Do who that know? is. Do you know? So who's the individual in the white standing there running away? Can you identify that person? For Are you you talking to one the one in the middle there? The one in the middle putting uh -huh. his hands up and running directly okay. away. I don't see him running. This is a picture, but I see his hands up, but I don't know who that is honestly either. So you were just I actually with these I two just I, you weren't doing, I, I thought you said you were dice rolling with them. You do not. Are you not acquaintances with these two? Individuals? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. These two individuals, the one with the jacket. Honestly, I, I am, but I don't know who he is because and then who's I'm not the individual lie. with the jacket. Can you, do you have a name? And his the one with the honestly, both their backs are turned to me. I can't see who they are. I'm not going to lie to you. You couldn't there's identify multiple... them by the clothing? No, sir. There's multiple people. And this was a few days ago. This is almost a week ago. So I, I honestly cannot remember who these people are. And there's multiple people that look like them. Um, the one in the white, I really couldn't even give an idea who that is.
Okay, so you were just standing there dice rolling well, with two apparently random individuals. Yeah, no, 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 no. I was there dice rolling, yes, but I just, at this point, I have an officer pointing an assault rifle at my face. So, you, I think and he I'm was mentioned it was Bob Ozo. I'm asking him. He said him, somebody jumped the fence. The only individual we see jumping the fence is this individual. Well, in the yeah, is that Mr. Bob Ozo or my, no? My back is turned at this moment. I'm not even looking at those I'm people. I'm aware, but you testified under oath that this man uh, oh, that jumped over the fence was somebody named Bob. Is this yeah. Mr. Bob Ozo or is it a Honor, different objection, in individual? Objection, I can't remember. What... Argumentative. He's being really argumentative. Aggressive. Uh, I, don't, yeah, I don't remember Honor, what. There was no... can I... Hold on. Can I respond? There's no argument inserted. I'm clearly asking if this yeah, individual no. is Mr. Bob I'm, Ozo I'm fine or answering not. your question, but uh, dude, both the they're, both their backs are turned to me. I don't even know. I'm aware and both then their they're backs wearing are turned, clothes, but, but yeah. Can you identify yeah. this individual or not? The one in the in the jean jacket, I cannot identify. I don't know. You I can't, can't tell you. Can't identify this individual. So, so the, this is so. It could you, be Bob. You though. previously yeah, testified that. that Mr. Bob Ozo jumped the fence and then jumped the fence back. Like I'm saying, I'm looking at I'm looking at a picture. Listen, I'm no, looking no, no, at it. No, 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 no. You I'm looking at that Bob Ozo returned, jumped the fence, and then returned back over the fence. Is that correct? What I saw is what I saw, and I told you that. But in this picture, Mr. my back Freeman, is I'm turned to, direct you to, to the question. So I did, can't see who's in this picture. Did you testify previously that yes, Mr. Sir. Bob Ozo jumped Objection, the fence Honor, and then jumped the fence back? Yes, sir. Badger me bad, Your but Honor, I'm willing to Your answer Honor, because... I, Mickey I, Johnson, I, Mickey Your Johnson, Honor, one second, one second. Let me just, question. let me talk to you and answer your question, dog. He answered your question the first yes, time. You've an, you asked the question, the question three times. Honor, I'm I, telling you right now. Please hold on, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Crispy. Yo, you're I, don't, crazy. I don't know if you're aware of the of the the criminal uh, the civil trial mm -hmm. uh, procedure, but when there's an objection posed, can you please remain silent until the the judge answers yes, the objection? Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, Your Honor, I would like to I would like to respond. This this witness did not answer the question. I've asked it multiple times. He is he has gone around it. Say your question completely... one more time, Mickey Johnson. I'm and asking then he if will he apply his testified. answer one more time. I'm asking if he previously testified that Mr. Bob, uh, named by an uh, individual by Bob Ozo, jumped the fence and then return and then jumped over the fence again and returned back with the police and him. Yes or no? Did, did you previously state that under oath? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, you did. But you also then previously, you also then under oath stated that you did not, you do not know who this individual, who is the only individual seen jumping the fence, is. Is no, that sir. correct? No, sir. You did or did not say that? I, I would repeat your question. So you also previously stated that this individual who jumped the fence, you do not know the identity of oh, okay. this guy in the jean jacket. Is that correct? Yes, sir. But there is a but. Can Hold I on. say one my second. Okay. No, no, no. One second. Okay. Your Honor, I would like to push. I would like to push that the witness be the witness be stricken. His entire testimony be stricken under perjury. Uh, motion denied. We're gonna continue. Hey, can I? Can, can I ask why? Can I say something? Because you started to Your badger Honor, his, the witness his beforehand, and you're trying he, to. He says that this individual jumped Your the fence Honor, and then jumped over the by the name. You're of... can I I badger the witness I first, can but you're, this. you're trying to diss the credibility of the witness. Can we approach? Can we all approach, please? I can easily explain this. Can we approach the bench. Just, yes, just... I approve. Please approach the bench, Thank Mr. You. Crispy Coleman. Please step down from the witness stand. Yes, sir. At this moment. I okay. Okay, Mickey. What up, man? Crispy ain't gonna ask that question, man. Uh, he doesn't have to identify anybody no, in do. any photo. He's not being. Dude, I'm good, he's trying to interrogate him. He's not playing DA. He's playing cop. What are you doing? Play DA. Try it, you know. Okay. Right <sighs> you don't got to do. do. I'd learn him right now, you know. I'm gonna take this knowledge in the courtroom and apply it to my policeman on the streets to make me a better officer, you know. Of course.
you, too, man. Later. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on now to the second witness. Um, as of right now, the motion to be struck as Christy Coleman's bitch. witness is not going to be granted. We're going to move on. Thank you, Your Honor. I would like to call Walter Black to the stand, please. Walter, if you can sit in this chair to my left, please. All right, Mr. Walter Black, do you swear and affirm to me today that everything you are going to say and will say is the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you with it. I do. All right, no. thank you. Mr. Black, Lope, please start. Mr. Black, can you please uh, state the events of the evening uh, at hand? On the evening of October 15th, I was... December uh, 15th. De December 15th, excuse me. Um, on on that evening, I had um, returned to the block from uh, talking to some acquaintances at Alta. I met a new customer. I am a deli owner, as you guys can see in the evidence and the exhibit. Uh, the building that uh, was entered it was uh, is what I own. I sell sandwiches. I make a pretty damn good uh, salad. I mean, put my horn and all, but yeah, I uh, met a customer. He was kind of hungry, so you know, me and another one of my constituents had brought him to the deli to show him our menu. I was already inside of the building. Um, uh, my friend. My uh, customer couldn't get in because my door was still locked, so I had to uh, go back out and um, help him unlock the door or enter the building. Um, on my way entering back into the building, uh, uh, as I was talking to him and uh, another one of my friends, um, he goes, his name is uh, Rico. I was talking to Rico. We were uh, talking to our customer about um, what he would like to eat. Um, we heard a lot of disturbance outside a lot of sirens or whatnot going on so rico goes outside to check on what's going on um a few minutes later as i'm talking to the talking to the individual inside the store with me um he tells me that the police are planning to breach the building and search because they said they were looking for an individual who held a gun to a uh officer in an alleyway um so in my mind, I'm thinking, like, I don't know why they would want to come in here because, you know, I didn't see any cops. I didn't have any firearms or anything like that on me, and neither did any of the people that were inside of the building because they're not allowed inside of the building. Um, so at that moment, I go back outside. I go outside. Me and the customer come outside, and we uh, go to see what's going on with the officers. Um, three of them are outside. As I, as I come outside, a couple of them have uh, ARs pointed at the door. Um, they tell me that they need, I need to identify myself. I ask them if it is okay for me to do that because at that moment, prior to my experiences of being in the neighborhood that I live in, um, I had to make sure it was okay for me to make such movements as reaching into my pocket. And they tell me it's okay for me to grab my ID. I identify myself to those three officers that were at the door. Um, I asked them what's going on. In the middle of me asking them what's going on, a fourth officer approached me with a very, uh, a very stern tone. He was asking if, if we have yeah, been identified and what was the hold up and this and that because they were trying to enter the building. So I identified myself again, and I asked them again, what is the, what is the, the situation? They say that. Um, they're going to need for me to step aside so that they can enter the building and search for a person 
um, that they would not disclose the name of for several minutes and several times of asking. Um, I insist that I don't consent to any searches without a warrant. I asked them if they had a warrant on scene. They said that they do not, and they ensured me that I that they did not need one. And I do believe that the Fourth Amendment states that you need a search warrant. So I told them that, bro, you need to get a warrant. You will not enter without one. They continue to argue me down about them going in regardlessly. I asked them, well, who are you looking for? Multiple times. They refused to tell me. It wasn't until the officer, the fourth officer that approached, got fed up with the with the back and forth. And he basically told me that I need to step aside because they were going to go inside without with or without my consent or with and without with or without a warrant. So me being under fear of being uh, arrested or my rights being furtherly violated, I stepped aside and allowed them to go in there unlawfully because I didn't want to go to jail. And here we are today. They, they only told me, um, and then it wasn't until they were literally like going inside of the building, they told me that they were looking for a Sam West. So it went from like them looking for a, a individual who pointed a gun at them in in the alleyway to them going to look for a specific person named Sam West, which then I told them that he's not here. He hasn't been on the premises at all. You know what I'm saying? They proceeded to enter. Here we are today. Okay. And on that day when you uh exited the the your building, uh do you remember around how many cops were there? Um if I could take a guess, I would believe it was probably majority of PD there. It was probably like eight officers, eight or nine officers there. Do you remember how many uh uh uh, neighbors or people that live on that block was outside uh, with PD? I know it's six houses on that block aside from my aunt's house um, that's in the middle. So about six people that live there, seven people that live there, and then there was a couple people that were friends with that came over there as well. So it was probably like ten people on the block that weren't officers. Okay. Uh, no further questions. All right. Nick Johnson, please step up Hello. cross examination. Is it Blake or Black? Black. Wow. Black. Okay. I'm just, I'm just clarifying, Mr. Loke. I just nah, I don't want to be. I do. All right. How you doing? Are you doing all right? I'm doing Sorry that you good. have to go through all this. I know it's a it's a process and a half. Yeah, it's all good, man. All right. So, uh, do you have by chance? Do you have my exhibit list in front of you? It should be the drawer in that desk right there. Yes, sir, I do. Okay. Uh, would you look at Exhibit G for me? Exhibit G. Give me one moment, please. That's perfectly fine. Take your time. Yes, sir, I see Exhibit G. Okay. Is that is that you with the little blue bandana and then uh, an individual dread standing directly next to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you Are you able to identify the individual dreads? Um, I didn't catch his name that's right next to me, but that is the customer that I met at Alta prior okay. to me uh, coming to the block. Okay, that's fine. Did he say anything prior to entering that building? Um, no, not necessarily anything out of the ordinary. But no, he just, trying. you two just swiftly entered the building? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, okay. I definitely, you know, that's fine. on the customer. So after the police, uh, let's just fast forward a little bit. After mm -hmm. the police uh, had contacted you at their house, okay, at your at your residence, said that they were going to go in and look for look for a, a, an individual by Sam West or the individuals that were pointing firearms. Yes, sir. Following them actually performing the sweep, was anything lost or taken? Did they? No, search? nothing was nothing was uh, lost or taken. Nothing or lost or taken. They didn't. They didn't take any jewelry, any items. They didn't look through your drawers. They didn't do anything. They looked for the individuals and then left. Is that correct? That's correct. But I, I okay, definitely told them that I did not fine. consent to them. That's that's Multiple perfectly times. fine. I get I get your 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 concerns here. Um, so just following that, um, I don't believe I have anything else. All right. Um, 
now. Would you like to redirect, Mr. Black Lope? Oh, no further questions. All right. No further redirect, no recross. It's going to move on. Um, Mr. Walter Black, you step down. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Do you have any further witnesses, Mr. Black Lope? Uh, I just have a witness statement from a uh, one Bob Ozo. He was actually like to, uh, on form drive. Would you like to read the statement today, or would you like us to just go over it? Yeah, you can. You can go over it. You can go over it. Okay, just give me one second while I read this statement. Uh, Bob Oza is just telling me access tonight. Oh. I can't read his. I also sent a request. I don't know how to switch it. I can see it, but I don't know how to switch it for. Uh, you, share, you go ahead and just read the statement it for us. Where then. It says restricted. Like. If you change the restricted to viewer, uh, it'll say like able to be accessed to by, and then it says viewer, and then you click done. It'll I, if I refresh it, I'll be able to see. Yeah, it's on viewer. Okay, let me read that. I think I have it now. It's on. It's on viewer. I should be able to. You should be able to see it. It's fine. Okay. Mickey Johnson, do you see the witness statement also? Oh, yeah, sorry. I said, yeah, yeah, I have access to it now. I can see it. It's very short, but I see it. Okay. Are you able to see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, I thought I said that. Sorry. Okay. So yeah, besides it? that, that's that's my last uh, witness statement. All right. We can go ahead and move on to the defense's witness. Perfect. All right. Well, we're first going to be calling Mr. Richard Bennett, and that's going to be followed by Mr. Jay Smith. All right. Mr. Richard Bennett, please come to the stand. Absolute god. All right, Mr. Richard Bennett. 
Do you swear today that everything you are going to say in this courtroom is the truth and will be the truth? So help you, MB? Yes, Your Honor. All right, lovely. You may begin, Mickey Johnson. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bennett, for being here. I know you're a very uh, busy individual, but I'll try to make this uh, fairly quick and painless. Uh, just before we begin, if you want to open that drawer in front of you, make sure that exhibit list is up. We're going to get into it later on, but uh, I just want to make sure you have it in front of you. Just let yeah, me know let me when just... you're good. Yep. All right. Yeah, give me two seconds here. That's fine. Just let me know when you're ready to continue. We'll get through the questions. All right, I'm ready. All righty, perfect, Mr. Bennett. Uh, first things first, can you just describe why you were staking out the block? Yeah, so uh, basically um, our SWAT team has a uh, division called the High Value Target. So we went ahead and activated that unit and uh, we went ahead and uh, took a look at all the active warrants and uh, we saw Sam West was on that list. So uh, we had the reasonable suspicion that he would be near the area of Forum Drive, which is why we uh, were in that area at the time. Perfect. And then following your uh, arrival on the block, can you explain what happened? Yeah, so we did a, we did a loop once or twice. Um, and then Jay told me that a good vantage point would be on top of one of those garages. I'm not exactly sure what it, what it was, but I was trying to get a vantage point. Uh, when I got out of my vehicle, that's when I met the uh, the weapons pointed at me. Perfect. And then what happened next, Mr. Bennett? Uh, what happened next was I fumbled a little bit while I was getting out of the vehicle. After I regained uh, my balance, I went ahead and pulled out my, uh, my firearm off my back. And uh, I went ahead and tried to pursue on foot. While I was pursuing, I was screaming at the top of my lungs to everyone in the area to get on the, you know, to put their hands up, don't move. Um, that's when everyone started, I would not, sorry, not everybody, but there was a few individuals that started running in almost every direction. Perfect. Um, so if you want to direct your attention towards some of the exhibits, can we look at, hold on, let me see, let me get this exhibit real fast. Just to clarify, exhibit C, uh, is exhibit C's, uh, when you. Is that you, yes? That is correct. Okay. And then going on, moving on to Exhibit D, that was also one of the in individuals who was pointing a weapon at, the, at you in the alley? Uh, I didn't actually see him point a weapon at me, but he was pulling his firearm out. Of Misstated that. Uh, in view, okay, so then moving on. In Exhibit... Exhibit... Uh, let's look at each first. So looking at the H, uh, describe what was going on. Yeah, so um, Exhibit H is that picture. Uh, basically, that was after I got across the street. Like I said, I was screaming commands at everybody. Uh, as you can see, there's one guy jumping over the fence. There's uh, the guy in the white ended up going behind the house, I believe. And then uh, to my right at that point, there was two individuals entering a building. Um, at that point, I was trying to control the situation. Uh, before I even got to that side, I called for additional units. We had a, another vehicle uh, off, off scene staged. Uh, that's when I called for them. So at that point behind me, there was like four or five officers approaching at the time. Uh, so I was just trying to control the situation. Uh, there was weapons pointed at me, so I wanted to get everyone detained, make sure that the weapons were uh, secured. Um, however, there were a few individuals that ran, and the individual wearing the black uh, surrendered. He was detained and questioned without further further incident. Sorry. So, Mr. Pet, uh, looking at this photo, do you recall that individual in the blue or the white returning back to the scene after beginning to flee? Um, to be honest, I don't believe so. However, that might not be accurate. There was a lot going on, and my main priority was to question the individuals I did have in custody. Okay, at that very moment, after jumping the fence, did that individual in the blue jump back over the fence and return back to the scene? Yes or no? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, perfect. Uh, following that, going towards the uh, towards the sweep of the deli, can you just describe what happened there for me? Are you talking about when we went inside, or yeah, when you yeah, just the situation led up to it. You guys going inside, all of that for me. 
Yeah, so basically after the back and forth with the owners of the residence and the people on the uh, the street there, uh, we came to an agreement we were going to go inside. Uh, I believe they opened the door for us. We never ended up having to actually break the door down. Um, so I called for myself and two other units. I believe Jay was one of them. I cannot recall the third. Um, so we entered the building before. When we're inside, I made sure to tell all my units that we are not touching anything. We're not searching. We're not seizing. We're just strictly looking for any uh, individuals inside the building. So just to clarify, can, you you were going in there solely just to look for individuals, not property? That is correct. Okay. Uh, can we just go towards, are you aware of the video that was presented to the court uh, of the one SWAT officer telling the individual that uh, you guys would not be raiding? Or not be uh, g entering? Uh, I don't believe I've seen that video, no. Okay, so I'm not going to question you on that then. Uh, no further questions, Your Honor. All right, he may step back, and Mr. Loke, you may approach and cross-examine the witness. Uh, Mr. Bennett, uh, just a couple, just a couple questions, not even many. Uh, I just want to know, uh, why didn't you identify yourself as an officer the moment you saw uh, civilians or criminals or whatever you would call them? Are you referring to when I'm? Uh, what exact moment are you referring to? Uh, the the moment when you were trying to sneak on the roof, uh, and uh, I guess they they saw random people sneaking on a uh, roof of their property and and pull guns or or are about to pull guns. Why in that moment, right there in that moment, did you not uh, state that you're an officer, put your hands up, and not just Stop running, put your hands up. Uh, because, I mean, I've got a badge and a vest on. I mean, I'm wearing a police uniform. My main priority was to, you know, make them surrender their weapons because everyone in that situation was now in danger uh, right. because they had weapons up. Right, and it uh, it is fair to say from a distance, uh, you, you can't really you can't really tell one one outfit from another, correct? I don't really agree. They were they were about 10, 15 feet away from me. I, I would say it's very easy to uh, distinguish an officer versus a civilian. Right. And that's at the point they distinguish you an officer, they ran away, correct? That's correct. But not from not you stating, me. not from you stating that you're an officer, but them uh, acknowledging, correct? Uh, that's correct. Uh, no further questions. Okay. Would you like to? Yeah, just come correct. Yeah. So it clearly, uh, so as you stated, uh, your uniforms were pretty visible. Could you tell us why they were fairly visible? Yeah. I mean, obviously all the SWAT, uh, we wear very similar uniforms, if not identical. The only discrepancy would be our female SWAT officer who has a little bit of a different vest. Other than that, we're all wearing full black clothing with uh, plain police vests in the daytime. So I feel like that would be enough to be able to distinguish us between public and officers. I see. Do your vests and your uh, patches all state you as a police officer? That is correct. Okay. I, they, and the individuals, uh, I'm assuming, realizing that you're a police officer, began to run away, or flee the scene? Uh, that is what it looks like. Okay. No further questions, Your Honor. All right. Would you like to read cross examination? The witness, Mr. Lowe. One, yeah, just one more question. Uh, upon you guys uh, uh, searching the deli, uh, did Objection, you guys? Objection, Your Honor. Be on the scope of my redirect. Uh, so, rephrase your question and ask within what he was. Uh, his last uh, redirect was. Was there consent to search the deli? Objection beyond the scope of my redirect. No, this time I'll allow the question. Just your honor, question. I, your honor, I don't see how you could allow something when it is clearly beyond the scope of what I've asked in the few very minute questions uh, of my redirect. He's Seeing how the, the trial scope. is extensively being coming late and later, all of our brains may or may not be scattered. It may be that he has one more question 
and I'm going to allow it. Do okay. Please continue, Mr. Blackburn. Okay. Your last question. Was there consent from Mr. Black to enter the property? Uh, so we spoke to, I'm sorry if this is a narrative answer, but I want to make sure that I actually answer your question. Um, so there was two individuals I personally spoke to. Right, of course. Both claimed that they owned the residence. I believe right. Mr. But did this, did this gentleman to, to my right, did he give you consent? Your Honor. I'm going to say no, but the thing is. No further questions. Okay, okay. well, that, that wasn't really fair in my opinion. It's all good. No um, further questions. Can I can I move for the last couple questions to be stricken? Uh, motion denied. Let's continue to the last witness. It's getting later and later. Let's get this. All going. right, Your Honor. We call Jay Smith to the stand. All right, Mr. Jay Smith. Will you say and agree to that everything you are going to say today in court is going to be the truth? So I'll help you in. Uh, I guess I'm on. All right. Please start. All right, Mr. Smith, can you hear me correctly? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, sounds good to me. I'm just going to get this uh, get this train rolling. Can you describe the events that, that led up to uh, that led up to this uh, this interaction between the individuals with the class two and class three weapon? Okay, well, uh, we activated high value target. We looked at the warrants. There was a Sam Smith there. We had suspicion to believe that he was on Form 1 Drive. So we went there. We tried to get a high round to get some more visual on the uh, people there. And then the two suspects with Class 1s and Class 2s pulled up and pointed at Bennett. And then he proceeded to uh, follow them. Perfect. Um, following that. Uh, were you on scene at the time of the uh, the sweep of the deli? I was, yeah. I was one of the people down inside. Okay. Did you guys at all touch or search any drawers, cabinets, objects, or seize anything inside of that building? Negative. You went there just to see if someone was inside hiding. So you, you, you solely anything. went in there just to search just to search for an individual and then leave. You weren't searching for yep. objects. Didn't look around, did such anything at all. Perfect. That's that's all. No further. Okay, I have one question for the witness. Um, you say you were searching for an individual into the deli. Um, surely you have an idea of the individual that you're looking for, right? What well, uh, you have a name? Uh, no name. No name. So you have a general idea, like clothing, uh, description. Uh, the suspects that pointed the weapons at Bennett. There was two of them. Uh, Your Honor, can I uh, can I say something quickly? Yeah, go ahead. It, it's already been heavily expressed that the the officers were looking for Mr. Sam uh, Sam West, who had a warrant on him, as well as the two individuals who were pointing the weapons. Uh, so, Your Honor, he, it's also been he heavily expressed that uh, Mr. Sam West was not in the residence. It was expressed to pretty much by everyone on that block before they entered the residence or the property. May I respond? What I'm trying to confirm here is that the individual that they're looking for was in the deli that his name was Sam West that they were looking for. Your Honor, the purpose of the the purpose of the sweep was to make sure that they weren't in the deli. Uh, they seen, they seen when you say they, who are you describing? Uh, so the two individuals that pointed the firearms as well as Mr. Sam, Sam West. They were looking for those okay. three individuals in total. Uh, right. To go into there, they were doing what is known as a protective sweep, which was pretty much making sure that he wasn't in there. They were trying yeah, to make but sure that he if wasn't. There was, if there was, a, After uh, two if there was grounds for a there. protective sweep, they would have protective sweep three other buildings in the area, Your Honor. There was no grounds for a protective sweep. Your Honor, there was the, negligence. Your Honor, it's not negligence. They seen individuals run into this building. They they assumed one of them could be related to Mr. Sam West or the situation at hand. They then went in there. They made so sure assuming, Mr. Sam West. So they, assuming means you can you can violate amendments. Your Honor, All right, let's not, not argue violation. here and let's go continue the examination of, of the witness. It's not a violation. It is it's them 
Okay. I have lost track to which part. Are we on the cross examination or the direct? Yeah, it's on just cross. on a, it's just on a cross. It's just on a cross. Okay. I just want to, I just want to know if you, if you got consent by Walter Black to enter his property before you entered it. Uh, I don't believe so. Thank you. No further questions. All right. Nikki, please come up. Yeah. No, I don't got any questions. No redirect? No. All right. You may step down to stand if there's no more questions from anybody else. Is that all the witnesses today? Uh, I believe so. Uh, before we get to closings, can I ask for a brief five minute recess? Do you have any thoughts? Uh, five minutes, yes, we'll do. Perfect. Two more minutes and we'll call the court back in a sec.
<laughs> yeah, we're in a court. Sorry, let me get out of your way. All right. Nick Johnson, can you please step back into the room? You can hear me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Domestic violence in court. Okay. <laughs> Hey yo, what is the bailiff for, bro? Like, like, where's the order? I don't want to sit in your chair. Just uh, fuck down, man. That's what I'm talking about. We ain't even got no good bailiff in. Like the bailiffs ain't even sitting here. That's crazy. <laughs> sit in chair. I just find it funny how he couldn't tell the difference between. All right, you're back. Court is back into session. Like, now we're going to be moving on okay. to the closing statement. Mr. Blackwell, can you please approach the stand when you are ready and give your closing statement? May it please the court. Tonight we have all seen the sheer misconduct, negligence, and ignorance of the LSPD SWAT. There was no hot pursuit. They just came, they just came to the neighborhood to look for a warranted individual. We decided that they were the judge and jury. The officers never could distinguish the individual, the individuals with firearms from the from the ones who were conducting business or the ones who were just leisure, leisurely on the, on the neighborhood block or the ones who ran because they never had control of the situation. The amendments are laws and rules that we must follow, badge or no badge. Thank you, Judge, and thank you everyone for your time today. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Black Vote. Mr. Mickey Johnson, please give your closing remarks. Your Honor, opposing counsel, may it please the court. Permission. Your Honor, today we have seen this word thrown around. Permission to enter. Permission to be in the alley. These officers, in fear of their own safety and the safety of others, conducted a protective sweep. 
of the building as they have clearly seen two, clearly seen two at the time of the sorry excuse me as they have clearly seen at the time individuals who were unidentified entered the building under a uh, disobeying a police order after the sweep officers did not find mr west However, not finding the individual does not constitute this sweep to be illegal. It merely means that this violent criminal was simply not there or slipped away. We have shown today that clearly and forwardly that the individuals caused the officers to be in a heightened state of alert due to their violent conduct, thus making the officers believe that violent conduct would further, to, would, would further and continue more. However, even with these facts in mind, we have heard today that officers were screaming at the top of their lungs orders and commands that were swiftly disobeyed, causing once again officers to have another reason to enter the building being the hot pursuit circumstance. Your Honor, as Mr. Loke has just said, we, we are not the judge and jury, or, or but we simply do not want to also meet the executioner. Thank you. All right. That is all of the statements that are being done for today. I'm going to take a few moments to recollect my thoughts, take everything that everyone on both sides has into consideration. Yeah, do your thing, man. Just give me one moment. Mr. Bennett, you smell so fucking good. Mm hmm. Crazy. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Is that your happy? Fucking Vegeta over here. Yo, yo, I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna cab most of these people here. You'll see. You've been showing me up. You'll see. You'll see. Yo. You did good, bro. I did, yeah. yeah Crispy, I love you. I didn't mean it. No. <laughs> it's all in the name of court. It's all in the name of court. It's all in the name of court. I love should've... him. He knows he... I love him, listen, but it's the same listen, thing. Listen, listen, I love Loke too, but it's all it's in here. It's a battle. It's a battle. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I feel it. You it's cool. Just, uh, I'm with it. You... Listen, I just moved peace. Bishop to E5. That's all it is. Yeah. Hey, you, hey, didn't let, hey, you didn't let me hey, finish. My rook, my rook killed this bishop. <laughs> oh, that rook did not kill the bishop. My queen came up in here and freaking <laughs> slaughtered you. Oh, you didn't let me I finish. Your, I, I took see. your queen out a long time ago. You didn't ago. let my guy finish either. I even though that's queen that, out. He shouldn't have even, he shouldn't even your, had that question. I didn't do nothing. I took your queen I, out with knight to E3. And it no. was over with. <laughs> what are we talking about? Stop. <laughs> Stop. Uh, no, but there's some serious crap that just happened that I, I'm very unhappy. But uh, yo, you listen, don't know how many times been, I want to scream you, out in this shit. <laughs> your, I, I kid you not. Your, ta your, your statement, however, however, whatever it was. I mean, I get you. You might have slipped up, but you should have. It should have been stricken. Slip up. Oh, you definitely slipped up. You said yeah. two different things. You said two different things. No, I didn't. You said you didn't know who the guy was, and then you said the, you knew no, he was Bob. You didn't let me finish. That's the only reason you got that. If I, if you had let me finish, I would have cleared that up. Definitely, I was literally about to clear There's that up. There's only one individual who jumped over the fence, and you said that Bob Look, was an individual. He jumped in over that the fence video, and then returned. Yeah, but in that video that you're talking about, Exhibit H, I wasn't even looking. I wasn't nowhere. I, I know you I were had no I, idea what was looking, going on at that but situation. But when I asked you if you if you seen anybody, you said that well. But I didn't when see you were these guys. Loke, you said that Bob jumped over the fence and then jumped. And then yeah. I pushed you on it, and I showed you Exhibit H, and you said you don't know yeah. who that is. But Exhibit H has nothing to do with what I was talking about. I didn't even see Exhibit H. Where's Bob? He, then where's Bob? I didn't because see it. I wasn't fence. looking. There's only one fence. You I said he jumped looking. the fence. Then why did you point, say he jumped was, the fence? When, when Bob jumped the fence, I was looking. And I'm sure in the video that you saw, you saw Bob. You saw me look at Bob, and you saw me look at Bob come back. So this is some Bob, bullshit. But Bob didn't come back. That's Bob did problem. come back because I Bob drove off with back. Bob. Police, you might have drove off no, with Bob, no, no, Bob didn't police, come back. Police at least searched it. me and Bob, so Bob had to come is that, back. Who is that? Is that Bob? Look, you hear what is I say? Is that Bob? Look, is that Bob? Look, that's all I wanted to know. Look, if you wouldn't tell me. 
I don't know. I wasn't looking. I didn't see that. That's from the cops' view. How do you not know who that is? Is that Bob drunk? Or not? And I was playing dice. Hey, hey, you don't, you don't have to, you He's don't have to respond to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, no, 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 no. I, none of this is this getting used. I'm just, I just want to know the answer. I know none of it's getting used, but look, I wasn't looking. I don't know if that was Bob. Okay, buddy. No, it's all good. I'm not. I, sh I slipped up. I said that I was drunk. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but it's over it pretty much anyways i don't know if that was bob honestly i don't i know bob was there i don't know what the fuck bob was wearing <laughs> are you talking no nah, i'm talking to i'm talking to my friend mickey not you you're yelling you oh i'm not i'm not yelling oh. chris you're yelling you're yelling chris i'm not chris, yelling. yelling i'm not <laughs> it's okay ladies and gentlemen of the court am i yelling now i Oops, have came to a conclusion First off, I would like to say I'm sorry to Mr. Walter Black for any pain or suffering he may has felt he has uh, heard when this happened. I want to assure him these high stressful situations, uh, they really do uh, take notice in court. We do apologize for any pain or suffering. Second off, the prosecute the plaintiff today has made some exuberant claims with some exculpatory evidence. So listen here. Today my verdict is Walter Black has had his Fourth Amendment rights violated on the day of December 12th, I believe, or 13th was the day. So my judge, verdict yeah. here. 14th. The 14th, December 14th. My verdict is that the LSPD is guilty of violation of Fourth Amendment right based on the fact that in the video that has been applied today as evidence, the officer on site has told the people, Miss being Walter Black, that that he is going to search the premises to look for an individual named Sam West. That does not protect the interest of the third party. Well, that that for is a violation of the Fourth Amendment based on it doesn't protect the interest of the third party. It's it's not the okay. This is not up for debate. I know it's not up for debate. That's fine. I'm going to grant a five hundred thousand dollar minimum. For the violation of a constitutional right, and it's going to come out of the police discretionary fund. Please, Mr. Walt, Mr. Black, Mr. Mickey Johnson, please approach the bench to discuss. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh, Jack, I told you. Whoa, oh, baby, yeah, baby. Chief Pro Tip. Yeah, black one. I have some yeah. two words for you. I can't take you to the bench. He got.